Astrochemistry is a fascinating discipline that explores the abundance and interactions of molecules in the universe, as well as their relationship with radiation. It is a unique intersection of astronomy and chemistry, relevant to both the solar system and the interstellar medium. The study of element abundance and isotope ratios in solar system objects is known as cosmochemistry, while the investigation of interstellar atoms and molecules and their reaction with radiation is called molecular astrophysics. One of the most intriguing aspects of astrochemistry is the examination of molecular gas clouds, as these formations give rise to solar systems. The history of astrochemistry is rooted in the shared history of astronomy and chemistry and has evolved alongside significant technological advancements. Thanks to the development of advanced spectroscopy techniques, scientists can observe an ever-expanding array of molecules and chemicals present within solar systems and the surrounding environments. Spectroscopy has played a crucial role in the field of astrochemistry since its inception. In the early days of spectroscopy, scientists observed solar spectra and discovered that different materials have distinct emission spectra. This led to a deeper understanding of absorption and emission lines, ultimately leading to the discovery of the Balmer series, a fundamental observation in quantum mechanics today. Astrochemistry continues to evolve through the integration of cutting-edge technologies and the development of new theoretical frameworks. Following the discovery of OH in 1963 and H2CO in 1969, interstellar space has continued to reveal unique chemical molecules, including water and carbon monoxide, which have prompted the search for interstellar molecules boasting biologically relevant properties. The detection of interstellar formaldehyde, in particular, is seen as strong supporting evidence for abiogenetic theories of life, as it suggests that the components of life may have originated from extraterrestrial sources. Astrochemists rely on the powerful technique of radio astronomy to detect over a hundred interstellar species, including CO, which is used to map out molecular regions due to its abundance and strong electric dipole moment however, the identification of more complex molecules, such as amino acids, remains a challenge for current detection methods. The ongoing search for direct biological importance amongst interstellar molecules, as well as further basic astrochemical research, is critical for advancing our understanding of the origins and development of life. The theme of the following passage is the use of infrared astronomy in determining the likelihood of life on other planets and in examining the composition of solid materials in the interstellar medium. By examining the ratio of hydrogen and methane levels in the atmosphere of Mars, scientists may be able to determine the presence of life on the planet. Infrared astronomy has also been used to study the interstellar medium, including the most common class of carbon compound in the galaxy, polyaromatic hydrocarbons as well as the composition of solid materials. The passage also mentions the lab experiments on the photochemistry of simple interstellar ices that have produced amino acids which may indicate a connection between interstellar and cometary chemistry. The topic of the story is astrochemistry and its overlap with astrophysics and nuclear physics. The sparseness of space results in unique chemical reactions, which allows for the observation of unstable molecules and molecular ions. These observations can help us understand nuclear reactions and the structure of stars. Dredge up events in a star's convective envelope can bring nuclear burning products to the surface, and mass loss can contain observed molecules. Recent discoveries suggest that organic matter can be created and exist in stellar systems prior to the formation of planets and that PAHs transform into more complex organics that may be the starting materials for the formation of life. NASA announced the creation of an improved spectral database that may help us better understand these PAHs and the potential for life. The possibility of oil hydrocarbon formation in space has been a long-standing hypothesis proposed by Sokolov and Hoyle. Recent calculations have not only confirmed this hypothesis, but have also been backed up by astrophysical observations and space research. In July 2015, the Fly Lander's measurements provided groundbreaking evidence of organic compounds on the surface of Comet 67-P, including four that had never been seen before on a comet. This data not only supports the possibility of space-based hydrocarbon formation, but also raises new questions about the complexity and diversity of organic chemistry in the universe.